Today, we're moving pigs. I do this quite often. Well, quite often. I do it more often off camera. We do have our pigs on pasture and they do need to be moved on occasion. Right now, at their size, like once a week, they need moved. I'm going to show you how I move these pigs here on pasture and then I'm going to show you what the pigs in the woods have done and the amazing till job they have done. So first, I'm gonna turn the electric fence off so I don't get zapped. Second, we gotta get the pigs in their pen. We've got this pen right here behind me. I can normally just stand here and call them and they will all just come running in and then I just close the gate that they're, lets them out into their pasture then we can move the electric fence. I don't know if you saw in that, and I don't know if this is professional to show or not, but we do have a sick pig. So we're not sure exactly what is wrong with our pig. We are pretty sure it's an ear infection or something like that. I don't, as, I don't know if you saw very great, but it walks kind of like it's drunk. Just a second guys, I'm setting up your legs. As I was saying, our pig kind of walks like it's drunk and so we like it turns its head to the side and like swing its head it's gotten a little better and we decided now here at Humble Haven and our farm we we try not to give any antibiotics or any medicines like that but if we have a sick pig and that pig's cure is going to be giving it this medicine to get it better rather than let it die or let it suffer then that is what we're gonna do we will we try to farm and raise all of our animals in such a way that we don't have to like every three months give them a wormer or every six months shoot them with this or that or when they come on the farm just give them all penicillin but if we do have a pig that like in this case I called I know a lot of other people who raise pigs and so I called all these people and I'm like hey do you know what's wrong with it and they were like oh. the one said that it might be an ear infection said penicillin so I looked around couldn't find penicillin but I heard that LA 200 basically the same thing so we tried that it got maybe a little bit better did not get 100% better or big improvements. So I went ahead and looked around some more, found some penicillin and gave it, today was its last dose of penicillin. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start working while I'm talking. Um, so today was its last dose of penicillin. We'll see, it's getting better I think. It's still eating and drinking which is a big thing. If it was not eating and drinking I'd be a lot more concerned for its its health but it is still eating and drinking so I'm very very glad about that Now don't get me wrong, here at Humble Haven, our goal would be to never have to give an antibiotic to any of our animals. And 
we are trying to go non-GMO organic. Our feed for our pigs is not 100% non-GMO. It is most of the way. Most everything in it is. But it's not 100%. You guys need longer stool. The bend over hurts my back. It's not 100% non-GMO, but we are working that way. That wield would be our goal, is to never have to give an antibiotic, be 100% non-GMO and organic. No, this is not one of any of my buyer's pigs. This was an extra pig for this exact purpose. I have lost one pig, only one, in the past doing pigs, and so this year I was like, I'm getting 16 and a little bit bigger business. I'm gonna get an extra just in case something get they, pigs get sick pretty easily they're not super sensitive some animals are really sensitive to, like turkeys die like for random reasons just scare them so I did get an extra still don't want to lose a pig that would be horrible I'm gonna finish picking up this electric fence and uh, show you me setting it up over there <sighs> Tired. This pasture looks beautiful. It really does. So I went ahead and got the electric fence run and we needed, now we're ready to turn it on and uh, test it, see how hot it is, make sure everything's connected properly and open them up and let them onto their new pasture section. Got the pigs on a new pasture. It went from went from this to this. I did tell you that I'm gonna show you the pigs in the other woods. I'm done here. I'm gonna go do that. These piggies are enjoying themselves very much. So I guess I'll have to jump in Mater and head over there. Let's go. I brought you guys over here and showed you my pigs in the woods the other day when I filmed the rest of this video, but as Carl went to edit it, he realized I accidentally did something with the camera and the footage is no good. So I'm over here again and I'm showing you what the pigs did in the woods. That is uh, where the pigs were when we moved them over here. They were right over here in this muddy patch this area. They did a great, wonderful job tilling it up. Ooh, it's, re it's really muddy, I'm trying to not fall over. And this is where they are now, which they've been here a little while, they're about ready to move. Tell they really want some milk or apples or something. Keep getting zapped, but we'll probably move them over to a grassy, grassy, weedy spot behind us in a week or so. But well, half a week. I don't know. We'll see. Whenever I get time to do it, really. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Hope you learned some stuff. And go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks.